you guys, it's your girl T. So before I get to the story, um, I want to just remind you guys, I know I have two channels and some people are subscribed to one but not the other. Um, besides my lovely news channel, I also have Lovely T2002. And if you guys have not watched my demonetization video or my demonetization update, I will put the link in the description box down below. I would love for you guys to check them out. On top of everything I spoke about in those videos, I've also created t-shirts and one of the t-shirts that people were highly requesting was for me to make a ratchet florida t-shirt and yes honey they are ready you guys can check them out the, the link to the ratchet florida t-shirts will also be in the description box as well so i think that will be very fitting from this video that's once again coming from our first favorite state ratchet ass florida okay so what's going down in ratchet ass florida you ask what's going down is that everybody's favorite teenage fake ass doctor dr love has been arrested once again this is two times in the past two weeks that this young man has been arrested okay let me take y'all back to two weeks ago um dr malachi love was basically arrested um for for grand theft and fraud so what happened is that basically dr love is accused of writing a bad check for fifteen hundred dollars as a down payment for a car okay um so he went to the dealership he tried to buy a car he put down a down payment and and the check was not legit and so he ended up being arrested for this and, and this hit the news media two weeks ago back on august 30th well now as of yesterday september 10th he has been arrested again so like the old saying goes honey if at first you don't succeed try try again this fool refuses to stop trying when it comes to crime, okay? So what he did, being that he wasn't able to, you know, write any checks down in Florida, he decided to take his elderly aunt up to Virginia. He drove up there and he was trying to buy two vehicles with the help of an unsuspecting co-signer, which was his auntie. She had no idea that he had bought her up there to buy two cars. One of those cars was a Jaguar. You know, the shit is just crazy. It's like this young man has expensive taste. He has champagne taste with beer pockets. How the hell are you trying to get a Jaguar and you got a scam to get that shit? So anyhow, once he tried to get that, people realized who he was. They recognized him and they called the police and he has been arrested yet again. <laughs> I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. News at 11, the Palm Beach County teen accused of playing doctor is being booked tonight into a Virginia jail. Jay Cashmere standing by in our feed room with what he's finding out right now. Jay? Michael, breaking news right now. We just got off the phone with authorities at the Stafford County Jail up in Virginia, and right now, Malachi Love Robinson is being processed into that jail on charges relating to fraudulent use of a credit card. We should know within about 10 to 15 minutes it's according to officials at the jail when his processing is done at that point formal charges will be filed all of this stems to earlier this afternoon about six hours ago when malachi love robinson visited a virginia used car dealership employees there say that he was detained by police and arrested this afternoon trying to use his aunt's credit card to purchase a car that, this photo right here showing that it was sent to us from the dealership those workers say love robinson's aunt was with him today but didn't know that her credit card was being used to make the purchase of the vehicle. We have a second photo as well taken by the same witness who says the 19 year old was taken away from the dealership in handcuffs. It is not clear whether Love Robinson has been formally charged with any crime. At last check he has been booked into the local jail again being processed as we speak. He, here at home, though, Love Robinson is embroiled in a legal controversy for allegations he was trying to practice medicine without a license. He's denied the charges and rejected a plea deal ahead of trial. Last month, his defense lawyers said that they were exploring a mental health defense. But again, two big pieces of evidence today, those two pictures from that used car dealership in Virginia showing him at the dealership and then, of course, being arrested and right now currently being booked into jail at the Stafford County Jail. We're going to stay on top of the story. As soon as we get any more new information on those formal charges, we'll bring it. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And like I said, this kid to me seriously has mental issues. You know, first he sat there and pretended to be a doctor not once but twice. Um, he's already facing a lot of charges for that. Um, he's taken it to trial. He refused to take the plea bargain. And since then, he's been in trouble two other times. So this young man is definitely on the wrong path. Not only is he a dumbass, but he's a bigger scammer than Joanne. I just wanted to let you girls know that I'm a real messy bitch. A liar. A scammer. I love robbery and fraud. I'm a messy bitch who lives for drama.
You know, he definitely has all types of issues, but I'm really tired of people screaming that he's a kid and where are his parents. First of all, he's 19 years old, okay? You know, I don't understand why his parents had to be with him every step of the way. I'm sure his parents have talked to him. I'm sure his grandfather have talked to him. And they've told him, you know, stop with the bullshit. Stop with the scamming. Stop trying to get all these cars. But again, him being a grown ass man. But again, him being old enough to make his decisions. He's choosing to do all this. You know, a lot of folks are saying that, you know, he's really smart. He needs to just put all his energy into going to school. First of all, this man, from what I'm seeing and from his repeated behavior, he's not smart, not a prodigy. He's nothing more than a grade A scammer, okay? Let's not forget that he didn't even graduate from high school. He left school. He claimed that he was getting homeschooled and he never got homeschooled. Instead, he just bestowed himself with degrees, diplomas, and everything else. It's like this young man does not want to work hard. He's not serious about being a professional. He's not serious about being in the medical profession. He's all about scamming and trying to make a quick buck. And people need to stop making excuses for him. Not only does he seem like he's mentally ill, but he seems like he's nothing more than a scammer, like I said before. I don't trust anything that comes out this kid's mouth. He has a lot of issues and I, and I think because of these two recent arrests and especially being behind fraud He's probably going to end up doing some prison time if he doesn't slow down So anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again coming from our first favorite state Ratchet ass Florida Let me know what you guys think about the whole Dr. Love situation You know this is the second time being arrested in two weeks Do you feel like he's just a smart prodigy or do you agree with me that he's nothing more than a scam artist So once again let's go ahead to get the discussion popping also like i said before do not forget to click the link down below check out the two videos that i produced on my other channel and also don't forget to cop a ratchet ass florida t-shirt all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos Talk to y'all later. Deuces.